Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to install an Ubuntu operating system in Windows 10 as a virtual machine using the hypervisor that is Oracle VirtualBox. So let's get started. First of all, you have to download and install the VirtualBox. Open a browser and search for download Oracle VirtualBox and hit enter. Click on the first link as it's displayed on the screen which takes you to the virtualbox.org downloads page. Here you can see the software for different platforms. If you are using an operating system other than Windows, click on the second or other following links. Since I am using Windows 10, I click on the first link, Windows Hosts. Choose the location to download the software and click on save button. Now your PC will download the software. It may take some time depending upon your internet and PC speed. So wait until the download is complete. As you can see here, the download is complete. Just click over it to start the installation process. Click on the next button a couple of times. Here click on S and click on install button. Click on install if you get a prompt like this. Now you can just click on finish and start the Oracle VM virtual box or you can just uncheck the box to manually start the virtual box and click on finish. On the desktop, Double click on the desktop icon of the virtual box to open it. Next, we should download the ISO image file of the OS which we are going to install. So on the browser, in the new tab, just type download Ubuntu ISO file. Click on the first link which takes you uh, to the Ubuntu ISO file download page. We are going to install the latest version of Ubuntu for a desktop or laptop. So click on the download button. It will automatically download the file and save in a location where you specify. It's a huge file, so it may take some time to complete the download depending on your internet speed. We will be back once the download is complete. Welcome back. The ISO image file of the Ubuntu Linux is complete now. So let's continue the installation process. Just press Ctrl and J keys to open Chrome Downloads. Click on the Show in folder. Here we have the iOS image file. Now let's go to the virtual box. To create a new virtual machine, click on this new icon or click on the machine menu and click on new. Give the name of the virtual machine. You can give any name of your choice. All the files of the Ubuntu operating system will be stored on this location by default. You can change it however. Leaving all the others as the default selection, click on the next button. Now you have to allocate RAM for the OS. As you can see, the recommended memory size to install the Ubuntu desktop is 1024 MB or 1 GB. But we are going to change it to 4096 MB or 4 GB to make the installation process faster and click on the next button. Here make sure that the create a virtual hard disk now is selected and click on the create button. Leaving the VDI selected, click on next. Again click on next and here we can see the hard disk size for the OS is allocated to 10 GB by default. But let's change it to some more. Let's send it to uh, 30 GB and click on the create button. Ok, now the virtual machine is created but it does not have the installation disk or the installation media. That means uh, we haven't pointed to the ISO image file of the OS. So to point the ISO image file that we downloaded just earlier, right click on the virtual machine and click on settings. Click on the storage. Click on empty, 
click on the CD icons down arrow and click on choose or create a virtual optical disk. If you see the iOS image file already listed here, just click on it. Otherwise, click on the add icon. Locate and click on the iOS image file. Click on choose and click on OK. Now click on start to begin the installation process. If you get a prompt like this, just click on start. Here you can just press Ctrl C to skip the disk checking process. Select your language and click on install Ubuntu. You can just click on the continue button and change the language later after it is installed. Here you have different options to choose. If you select the normal installations, web browsers, utilities and these things will be installed. But if you select minimal installation, only web browser and basic utilities will be installed and there are other options as well. As we need to install the full-fledged OS, we select the normal installation. Now you can continue choosing the erase disk and install the Ubuntu option selected as it will only erase the hard disks we created while creating the virtual machine. Just click on continue. Now select your country or your capital and continue. Here you need to create a user. Give the computer name, set username, choose a password, confirm the password and continue. Again, it takes some time, so I'm going to fast forward the video. Till then, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Okay, the installation is complete and thank you for subscribing the channel. Now you need to restart the virtual machine in order to use the new installations. Click on restart now button. Click on the username and enter the password that you set while creating the user. We are logged into the Ubuntu. Just click on skip buttons to skip these steps since we don't require them now. Here we can see the Ubuntu desktop which is installed as a virtual machine in Windows 10 using the hypervisor VirtualBox. Now let's work to get it full screen. Click on the view menu and click on full screen mode. Click on the switch button. Still we can't get the full screen. We have a short trick to get Ubuntu on full screen mode on the virtual box. Just click on this icon with dots, search for settings and click on it. Scroll down a bit on the left bar and click on display. Click on the resolution and select the resolution as per your display device. The standard resolution for most of the laptops or PCs is 1360 by 768 pixels and click on the apply button. Click on keep changes and close this window. We can get the Ubuntu full screen now. Here it's asking for the update of some software. You can install them now or you can just click on remind me later. But it is recommended to have up to date software so I just click on install now button. Enter the user's password and hit enter. Now everything is done and you are ready to do your tasks on the Ubuntu desktop. Finally, let's open the Firefox browser and verify if it can connect to the internet. Type google.com and hit enter. As you can see, Google is open, which means that the internet is also working just fine on the OS. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon 
to get more useful video tutorials like this as they are uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you on the other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.